Summary Greenleaf by Flannery O'Connor In the beginning of the story, Mrs. May has a strange dream in which a bull eats her house, barn, sons, and even herself. She feels better when she wakes up and realizes that the strange situation she was in was just a dream. The relief doesn't last long, though, because she soon finds out that her dream was caused by the sound of a real bull chewing on a hedge right outside her bedroom window. Mrs. May is very upset, so she grumbles to herself, and her angry words give the reader the information they need to understand her life. Readers find out that Mrs. May does own a dairy farm where she lives with her two grown sons, Schofield and Wesley, and that she and her hired help, Mr. Greenleaf, are always at odds with each other. Even though she doesn't like him, she keeps him on the job because she thinks he's the best she can do under the circumstances. Mr. Greenleaf has two adult sons, twins named O.T. and E.T., and Mrs. May doesn't get along with him because she's jealous of how successful and happy his sons are. O.T. and E.T. are two young men who are active, hardworking, and polite. They did well in the military as sergeants during the Second World War, married French women from good families, went to school for agriculture, and now run successful businesses. Her sons, on the other hand, are very different. Mrs. May is disappointed in her sons behind closed doors. Both are single and don't seem to want to change their lives for the better. Wesley is sick and has rheumatic fever. He works as a teacher, but Mrs. May thinks this is beneath him and tells people he is an intellectual. Schofield, her other son, is a strong insurance salesman who was in the army before. But he could only get to the level of private first class. Now, he sells insurance that is mostly bought by African American people. Mrs. May is embarrassed by what he does for a living, and she worries that neither of her sons will find good partners. She is sure that after she dies, they will marry women with bad reputations, and this makes her very sad. Mrs. May's life seems to be full of jealousy and dissatisfaction because she is envious of Mr. Greenleaf, his wife, and their sons. She thinks that they don't have to worry about much, while she has to work hard to make ends meet. Even more proof of her point is the bull outside her window. She thinks about telling Mr. Greenleaf what's going on but decides not to because she thinks he'll be rude about Schofield and Wesley not wanting to help her with the farm. The next day, she finds out that the bull belongs to Mr. Greenleaf's son and is known for getting out of his pen and making a lot of noise. She worries that the bull might make it harder for her prized cattle to breed, so she asks Mr. Greenleaf to put it in a pen. Wesley and Schofield make fun of their mom's situation when they are at home. The bull keeps bothering her and making trouble on the farm, but Mrs. May is glad that he will hurt O.T. and E.T. She talks to Mr. Greenleaf face to face and gives him a choice. If his sons don't get their bull back, she will make him kill it and end the problem for good. But Mrs. May soon finds out that neither of the Greenleaf twins cares that their father killed the bull, so she can't get her revenge. They actually like the idea. After all, it has hurt the Greenleaf farm in many ways. In short, shooting the bull would be a good thing for them. Mrs. May is angry that she has to pay for the damage the bull did to her farm and the trouble it caused when it had to be killed. Mrs. May tells Mr. Greenleaf to kill the bull in the end. They get in the car and drive out to the pasture, where Mr. Greenleaf looks for the animal. While this is going on, Mrs. May sits on the truck's bumper. She starts to daydream and loses focus, so she doesn't see the charging bull until it's too late. She is too shocked by what she sees to do anything. It looks like she is mesmerized by the angry animal coming toward her, because she just stands there and stares at it. Mrs. May can only stand there and watch as her heart is pierced, leaving her badly hurt. Mr. Greenleaf shows up too late and shoots the bull, but the damage has already been done. Readers are led to believe that Mrs. May's wounds are fatal, but O'Connor never says for sure what happens to her.